have improved the water quality. We've improved the natural habitat for all of our critter friends. Oh, it's been a huge success. It's, it's nice to be able to provide that to the public. Created in the middle of the 20th century to enhance the quality of life in four Michigan counties, the Clinton River Spillway is the critical piece of infrastructure that keeps Mount Clemens and Clinton and Harrison Townships dry. Now, fresh off a multi-million dollar upgrade, this man-made waterway provides habitat for fish and other wildlife, provides leisure and recreational opportunities, and continues to serve its purpose of preventing flooding in our communities. This is the Clinton River Spillway. And it is really a public asset. So it's really owned by the public, by you. And so we want to try to enhance it so that the public can enjoy it. Built in the late 1950s and completed in 1961, the spillway was developed in response to frequent spring floods that caused significant damage in Mount Clemens and the surrounding communities. Originally constructed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the spillway allowed for the development of homes and businesses throughout central Macomb County. It was really, and remains today, an engineering marvel because Back in the day, before the spillway was constructed, every time we'd have a heavy rain, particularly in the spring, I mean, we have pictures of uh, what happened before the Clinton River spillway was constructed, all the extreme catastrophic flooding that happened in downtown Mount Clemens, portions of Clinton Township, and all of Harrison Township, certainly around the banks of the Clinton River, North River, South River Road, all the neighborhoods around there. I mean, just totally underwater in a flood. And uh, so what happened is the Corps of Engineers designed and built the spillway, the Clint River Spillway, very appropriately named because it spills the Clint River. In other words, it sort of peels off just uh, east of Gratiot in, uh, in Mount Clemens. It peels off into the spillway. So the Clinton River, as Mother Nature designed it, is making its way down. And then it spills into the Clinton River Spillway in heavy, heavy rains, or when the water level is extremely high. If we didn't have a spillway, all those communities would be underwater in the, in the wet weather events. The Clinton River Spillway branches off from the Clinton River just east of Gratiot, near Shadyside Park in Mount Clemens. The spillway travels through Clinton Township and then on into Harrison Township on its way to Lake St. Clair. The spillway is two miles long, 200 feet wide, and depending on conditions, between 15 and 30 feet deep. Now, approaching 60 years old and operating in a fully developed environment, the Clinton River Spillway Authority Board, made up of the drain commissioners in Macomb, Oakland, Lapeer, and St. Clair counties, along with a state representative, determined the spillway was in need of some tender loving care. So we were very fortunate to receive uh, what they call a Great Lakes Restoration Initiative Grant, GLRI grant, which we have spent about $4 million in the last couple of years on the Clinton River Spillway. And what we've been doing here is we have about 106 acres of property that we've been doing revegetation. So we've revegetated all of the banks to stop sediment and soil erosion, et cetera. We also have created some fantastic natural habitat ponds that were never here before. So it's been interesting. We've had these environmental engineers actually construct, you take uh, old logs, old trees really, and you wrap chains around them, then you anchor them. And this provides sort of a, a nature's uh, habitat. All the way along, we've been doing that here and uh, in some other kinds of things, trying to, uh, as I say, revegetate and get rid of invasive species, particularly plant life uh, that is around the area. You can't believe what has happened here. It is really fantastic. And it's exactly what the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative funds were designed to do. 
In total, $4.4 million was allocated in 2014 for restoration work along the Clinton River Spillway. The federal funding was made possible through a program known as the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. One of the key agencies involved, along with the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, was NOAA, or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The Clinton River Spillway is a really unique project that we funded um, back in 2014. Um, and this is a, a really unique area in that it's sort of this man-made um, flood control system. And what we have been trying to do as part of this um, award is um, really just enhance that with some off-channel habitat, some fish habitat, refugia, some basking areas for turtles and wildlife and other things, um, and just enhance what otherwise um, was a, a very urban or man-made channelized system. Since 2014, we've treated 67 acres of invasive species along the whole length of the spillway. I think we have like about a half a mile of fish, of channel improvement for the, the native fishes coming in and out um, of Lake St. Clair and thousands of feet of shoreline softening and shoreline rehabilitation. Um, so it's really, really enhanced this um, uh, otherwise, like I said, urban sort of cement structure in the middle of this area. So what you're looking at here is the weir, which was built many, many years ago. Uh, and what the weir does actually is it stops when the spillway is spilling from the Clinton River. The weir, when the weir is down, will allow the flow to keep going down the spillway so it doesn't back up and flood Mount Clemens, Clinton Township, and Harrison Township. Constructed in the 1980s by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the spillway's weir is remotely operated by the Macomb County Public Works Office on behalf of the spillway authority. The weir includes an inflatable bladder, which allows it to be raised or lowered as conditions dictate. When water levels in the river are high, the weir is lowered so that more water from the river can spill out into Lake St. Clair thereby reducing flood risks. When water levels are lower, the weir is raised, ensuring a healthy flow of water continues in the river proper. So right now you actually can't physically see the weir because of the water level. You can guess where it is because of all the debris, the woody debris, the logs and the trees that are coming down, they've snagged here. But when the water level is a little bit lower and then you have a heavy rain, I mean, I've been out here sometimes, you cannot believe the rush. You can't even hear yourself think. It's a rush of water uh, that's going here. It's like you're at a waterfall or you're in a rapids or something. And essentially that is what's happening. Uh, and I think when I see that kind of uh, thing happening at the weir on the Clinton River Spillway, if this were not built all that rushing water would not be spilling out of the Clinton River, spilling over into the weir to the Clinton River Spillway. Instead, it would be rushing down to portions of Clinton Township, downtown Mount Clemens, and Harrison Township. It'd be way over flooding, flooding over the banks of the Clinton River and some of the tributaries and just flooding everything out. And that's always what happened forever, quite frankly, before this uh, Clinton River Spillway and then subsequently the weir were built. Though it travels through an urbanized area and is an engineering marvel, the Clinton River Spillway is also an important habitat for a variety of types of wildlife. The recent GLRI project sought to enhance the habitat for nature's residents. 
in these uh, habitat areas, you see all kinds of turtles that are here, and swans, and ducks, and uh, it, it's just a, a remarkable transformation, really, of what was sort of forgotten, overgrown in a lot of areas, uh, and what it is today. Because this started as a man-made system, um, it, we've been, and it's such a, a vastly expansive area, um, I think that we've enhanced it a lot. We've added those habitat. I think we've, we're already seeing wildlife come in and use uh, those offline pools and channels that we've created. Um, we're still working on uh, monitoring to see if the fish are returning. Um, so we're gonna hopefully have that data from that in this fall and winter to actually see if the fish are coming in and using those spawning grounds that we've created. Um, but I think it's been a huge success. And people are fishing like crazy. As part of the GLRI project on the spillway, a fishing pier was created adjacent to where the spillway travels under Harper Road in Clinton Township. When fishermen use the pier, it limits foot traffic along the shoreline of the spillway, greatly reducing soil erosion and thereby improving water quality. Of course, the fishing pier also provides the added benefit of serving as a great spot to catch lunch or dinner. So this fish was just caught right here, right now, <laughs> at the fishing pier here at the Clinton River Spillway. And uh, I'm not an expert on fish, but I think this is a rock bass. The Clinton River Spillway is home to numerous species of fish, perch, walleye, muskie, northern pike, sunfish, and, at least according to some locals who are willing to share some of their fishing secrets, it is a great spot to catch catfish. In addition to fishing, the spillway provides ample opportunity for kayakers and canoeists in the water and outside the water for bikers or those who just enjoy a pleasant stroll alongside the spillway. Working with local townships and other agencies, a bike path was created alongside the spillway a number of years ago, which now draws frequent use. Uh, for instance, there's a bike path that was constructed some years ago along Her the Harrison Township portion. That's sort of on the uh, north side, if you will, of the Harrison Township portion of the spillway. On the south side of the Clinton Township portion, that bike path continues all the way down into, uh, into Mount Clemens. And it is a beautiful hike bike path and trail. It's so, it's so accessible to the public so they can see how you know we're spending federal dollars on this um, and quite a substantial amount and and they can see the effort of that you can see the plants starting to fill in you can see the ducks and the herons and the turtles coming to to use those wildlife areas that we've created and hopefully soon we're going to see the fish coming back and we, we built a fishing pier too and we we're seeing people use that to access the water um, every single time i've been out there people have been crowding the fishing pier so um, yeah i think it's been successful and it's 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 nice to be able to provide that to the public too with the GLRI project on the spillway now reaching completion, Commissioner Miller and others are beginning to look at new ways to utilize the spillway and its adjacent property in a way that enhances the quality of life for all residents of the Clinton River watershed. To actually see this particular project to fruition uh, is, a, is a special treat, certainly. Uh, but at any rate, we have uh, had great partners with NOAA, with the EPA, uh, the Clinton River Watershed Council, so many others that have worked very, very diligently on making sure that the Clinton River Spillway is something that uh, certainly all of us can enjoy, but I think as important or more importantly really is for future generations, our children and our grandchildren.